in this tutorial we will learn how to create this object in AutoCAD 2018 to switch to isometric mode you will have to click here on isometric drafting right now it is off you will have to make it on by clicking on it in this at first we will create this portion we will create line of 48 by 24 and we will create this rectangle take the line command give the first point make ortho on give the direction give the length of 48 enter zoom minus pan it take your cursor above give the length of 24 enter then take your cursor on this side drag this point don't click there just hold for some time and take your cursor up and click there then connect it back now we want to go on this side now cursor is not going on this side to change the isoplane you will have to click here and select isoplane right then give the length now here we will take this length of 90 we will create this block of 90 Give the length of 90, enter, take your cursor above, give the height of 24, enter and connect here, then enter. Then we will create one more line of 90 here and we will connect it back here. Take the line command, give the first point, give the direction, give the length of 90, enter, then connect here and enter. To shape this XY UCS icon, give the UCS icon command, UCS icon, enter, click on no origin. Then next will be to create this circle of 32 diameter that is 16 radius. It will be at the midpoint of this inclined line. To create isometric circle, click on this arrow near the ellipse and click on axis end. Then select this ISO circle option, give the center point at the midpoint of this line. Now it is coming on the right plane, we want it on the left plane. From here you can change the plane to left, ISO plane left. Then give the radius of 16 and enter. Then we don't want this half portion, for that we will have to use the trim command. Give trim enter then remove this portion enter then we want the same arc at the depth of 40 we will copy this arc click on copy select object enter give the base point we will take this midpoint give the direction now we want to go on this side for that we will have to change the plane from here we will take the right plane then give the direction, give the depth of 40, enter, enter. Then we will create connecting lines. Take the line command, give the first point, second point, enter. Press enter to repeat the line command. Give first point, second point, enter. Again enter. Create one line here also, enter. Then trim this portion, give TR, enter, enter and trim this portion enter now this block is ready then next is to create this circle the center of this circle will be at the distance of 90 now we already have created this block of 90 length therefore we will create the circle using this midpoint click here on axis end now axis end automatically came on the top so you can directly click on it. Click on axis end. Click on iso circle. Give the center point. Click on this midpoint. Then change the plane. Click here and select iso plane top. Then diameter is 56. You can click here on diameter. And give the diameter of 56. Enter. 
right now we have created this circle we need to copy it at the gap of 24 and we will need to copy it above also this gap will be 56 minus 24 that is 32 click on copy select object enter give the base point we will give base point in empty space then we want to go up we will need to change the plane click here and click on isoplane right take your cursor above give the height of 32 enter then take cursor below give the depth of 24 enter and enter to come out then we will need to create one line from quadrant to quadrant for that click on line then take your cursor here click on the quadrant if quadrant is not shown automatically you can also select this quadrant by pressing shift and right click and clicking on this quadrant option here or if you want quadrant to show automatically then you will have to click here and make this quadrant option on by clicking on take the line command take your cursor here on the quadrant click there and click on this quadrant below enter enter again from this quadrant to this quadrant enter now here we will need to remove the unwanted objects for that we will again use the trim command give the trim command tr enter enter and remove the unwanted objects then we will not need this lines also we will remove these lines also and this arc also and this line ok then enter then erase these lines give E enter select all the objects enter then we will need to create one line here click on line from this point to this point enter then to create this internal portion now here circle diameter is 32 and this small cut is there of 6 width we will create this circle at first of 32 diameter that circle is on top plane from here we will choose the top plane isoplane top click on axis end click on iso circle give the center point click on diameter give the diameter of 32 enter then this portion for that we will create one line click on line take your cursor to the center point click there and take your cursor ahead and click there and enter now here this cut is of 6 size that means we will copy this line by 3 distance on either side click on copy select this line enter give the base point give the direction give the distance of 3 enter take your cursor on this side give the distance of 3 enter enter then we will trim the unwanted object give tr enter enter and remove the unwanted objects and enter then we will need to create vertical lines here for that take the line command change isoplane to right from this point go below and click enter 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 then trim the unwanted portion give tr enter enter and remove this portion enter now this portion is also ready then we will need to create this center lines for that we will create one layer click on layer properties we will give some color to this zero layer also click on this white color and give some color ok I want to give thickness also click here on default and give the thickness ok then new layer I want the new layer to be center give the color Okay. then cancel this line width click on default ok 
and here line type need to be center click on this continuous click on load click inside press C for center click on OK select center click on OK and close this dialog box then select this line select here and convert it into center press escape now center is not properly visible give LTS command line type scale and increase the scale factor to 5 now I want this line to be ahead up to this point click on this line click on this blue grip take your cursor ahead and click there and escape I want to create line in top plane click here and select on isoplane top take the line command before that make center layer current so that center line will be created click on line drag the center point take your cursor on this side now if in your case it is not tracking in this inclined angle then you will have to right click on this polar tracking click on tracking setting and you will have to tick here track using all polar angle settings and you will have to give increment angle of 30 so that it will track in 30 degree also or in the multiple of 30 then click take your cursor here click there enter now I will need here one vertical line for that again I will take the line command take the line click on the center point change the plane to right and drop to this quadrant point enter then same way center lines will be needed here also now we need to convert this portion into center line for that we will break it we can use the break at point command here click on this break at point select the object click the point again select break at point select the object click on the point where you want to break it now this object got separated select the object click here on the center escape then we will create one horizontal line take the line command from mid of this line to the mid of this line enter enter then again from end of this line to the suppose mid of this line enter and whatever thickness we have given if you want to view that then you will have to make this line width display on then it will show the thickness also and if in your case this line width display is not showing then you will have to click on these three lines here and by ticking on this line width it will make it on now this isometric drawing is completed in the next lecture we will learn how to give dimension to this drawing right now we will stop here thanks for watching